This came out of a thrift store mystery box, believe it or not. And I sold this guy for $100 plus shipping. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, fellow buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are going to talk about items that I sold on Poshmark. I call these my Poshmark bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell for a profit. I'm gonna tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. And hopefully you can find these items when you're outsourcing. Now, I do sell clothing on Poshmark. I'm not gonna show you a whole lot of the clothing because I mainly focus on hard goods. And if you're not selling hard goods on Poshmark, definitely consider it. All right, let's get started here with the first one. All right, the first item I sold is this express dress. And I took a best offer of $50 for this item. $50 for this item. And I will tell you, I have this cross posted on multiple platforms. I have it on Mercari and eBay and it sold for the most on Poshmark. So if you are not selling on Poshmark, definitely consider it because when you cross post things, you get different eyes on your items, different buyers on different platforms. And I picked this up at a discount store. My cost of goods was actually a dollar, but when I basically bundled everything together. I divided out the total number I spent by the number of items and I just say an average of about $3. But this item was actually $1 and I have sold it probably 80 times, maybe 100. I don't know. I bought a ton of them. But I'm running out, so um, I keep upping the price. Now, this one right here is a David's Bridal dress. Um, we'll call this a mistake. I did a retail arbitrage buy on... David's Bridal website. And a lot of times I would, back when I sold clothing, I would go onto websites and I would look for coupons and I would go to the clearance and I would use the coupon and the clearance and get the items pretty cheap. I had $10 in this item and this retails for, I think over $150, but it is a discontinued style. And many people that are having weddings, they want all their bridesmaids to be in the same dresses. So unless it's somebody who's going to buy this for prom or homecoming or um, a bride that just says, I don't care what style dress it is, as long as it is this begonia pink, then somebody's going to buy it. But anyway, this sold for $25. I paid 10 for it, not making much money. I really just want to see these go. So I was happy to take the offer. The next item was a bundle jewelry lot. Um, I sold this bundle for $65. I, uh, they got four items from me. I had this one necklace listed for $65. So I feel like they got a good deal. Um, I'm going to show you the four items they bundled. It was this necklace here. And I don't remember where I got this. This might have been out of my uh, 300 pounds of jewelry that I bought on eBay to sell on eBay. The bulk buy I did. I think it might have been. Um, this one, I believe, came from a garage sale. This one came out of a dibble box, a uh, mystery jewelry box that I bought from Donatella Bottolino's YouTube channel. And this one, I believe, came from a garage sale also. So all four of these items they got for $65. And the profits were still really great for me. So I went ahead and took that bundle offer. The next item I sold is this jewelry box. And the photos are horrible because... Um, somebody reached out to me and they said, Hey, when you get that jewelry box, will you, um, can I buy it from you? And I said, yes. So here's what happened. Um, I was over at Donatella Bottolino's selling event and she was selling some watches and I bid on the watches and I did not win, but Christopher from, um, amazing steals and deals eBay store. I, he's also called I buy chit C H I T and, um, he won this and he sent it to me as a gift. So as soon as I got it, I did the unboxing and that'll be coming on my channel in a future video. I've got to get some stuff listed. So it might be a little while, but I went ahead and reached out to the gal that wanted the box. And this is a vintage jewelry box. And this is what the watches came in. And it's really beautiful. It's hard to tell with this photo. I didn't do it justice, but um, I just wanted to get the listing up for her so she could buy it. 
Um, I don't sell anything unless it's on a platform. So I put it on Poshmark for her. I sold this for $30 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Star Wars plush yacht. Plush lot. <laughs> it's three stuffed animals. And these were from a viewer who sent me a mystery box. And I went ahead and bundled these three together. I only put them on Poshmark. And another viewer swooped in and bought these from me after they watched the video. So 25 bucks for three Star Wars plush. And that was awesome. So um, Poshmark takes 20%. So I got $20 from this sale. And if you're watching, thank you for your purchase. And if you're watching, thank you for your gift. So that was awesome. All right, this came out of my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay. And somebody bundled this seed bead necklace with this necklace that I got out of another jewelry mystery box, dibble box from Donatella Bottolino. So for the two necklaces, they offered me $30 and I went ahead and took that. And somebody asked me if I checked this. and <laughs> No, I didn't. I don't know how to check anything. So maybe this was something special. I think they thought maybe it was some sort of like pearls or something. I don't know. But anyway, um, if it was, then maybe the person got a really good deal. These also came from a Dibble box that I bought from Donatella Bottolino's auction. Um, I can't remember if this was... I think this came out of one that I was actually bidding on. And I sold these for $18 and the buyer paid shipping. They are three Johnson Humphrey Vote Democratic buttons. This here is an express blazer and I picked this up. It's a store called Discount Fashion Warehouse. And again, I divided out. So average cost of goods is $3, but this was probably more around the five to $7 range. I sold this suit jacket for $78 plus shipping. I am not going to get $78 plus shipping on eBay for this item. It is going to sell for more on Poshmark. This was a very long tail item and I had to wait on the right buyer. The next item is this Gund Long Hair Pomeranian Boo, the world's cutest dog, buddy, realistic plush. If I remember correctly, this came from a garage sale and I think I paid a dollar for it. And I sold this for $15 plus shipping. These earrings, these came from a garage sale or an estate sale. I can't remember. It was a long time ago. They took a long time to sell. Um, I did buy this little uh, backer to put it on. I bought a whole bunch of these thinking I was going to sell a ton of jewelry. And most of it has just been sitting in my money pile. So I do plan to bring a lot of my jewelry to Whatnot. Um, if you're not familiar with Whatnot, it is a selling platform. And basically... Um, they do the auction and you just kind of hold up the items and there's like a 30 second countdown. So they're in charge of everything. You are just kind of the host. But anyway, it's really cool concept. It's super fun. And I've been selling on there since December. So if you would like to follow me on whatnot, my link is down below. And if you're not selling on whatnot, I do have a seller referral link. If you use that, um, to, uh, join whatnot or to ask to sell on whatnot, it may get you accepted quicker. But if you join with the other, the buyer's link, you'll get $15 to shop. So there's two separate links down there and they do totally different things. So make sure you click on the right one. But um, I am loving whatnot. And I know Poshmark is now doing live sales. Let me know in the comments, has anybody tried doing a live sale on Poshmark? How's it going? I would say that whatnot is a very similar concept to a Poshmark live sale, okay? All right, and the person bought this and this right here for $26. Yeah, it was the two necklaces for $26 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold, I picked this up at a garage sale for 50 cents. I try to stay away from clothing, but 50 cents for a Victoria's Secret bra that looked brand new, like I was not going to pass that up. And I bought several and I think they've all sold, but uh, I ended up selling this for $19 plus shipping. Vampires like to neck. This is a Halloween pin. I don't remember where I got it, but I sold it for $10 plus shipping. Probably had pennies in it. This is another item that came out of a uh, Donatella Bottolino jewelry box. It is a rosary. I did not have any detail on it. My description and title 
was literally rosary and it still sold. I sold it for $9 plus shipping. Uh, that's one thing that's great about Poshmark is you don't need to have much because people are watching the feed and sometimes they find your item that way. This is a Minecraft spider plush. It did not have the tush tag. So I went ahead and put this over on um, uh, Poshmark. And it sold pretty quickly for $11 and the buyer paid shipping. And I believe this came out of the free plush that I bought, or I'm sorry, the free plush that I got from a viewer. This right here was a Christmas bundle. And this one sold to um, Mac Pack reselling and she is working on a YouTube channel. So that's coming soon, but she also, um, has a great eBay store and I will link both of those down below. She is a Bolo Buddies YouTube member. So, um, she does get that shout out as a perk. And this was one of the items that, uh, I had. Okay. So I had my Christmas whatnot show and I created a video on my sourcing with Bolo Buddies YouTube channel. And I invited my viewers to go over and look at that and let me know if they wanted me to bundle anything for them. She picked out these items and I listed them for her for $15 and she paid shipping. This is another bundle. This one was purchased by Amy and these are the items she picked out and I sold these to her for $20 plus shipping. So more than likely, these are reseller lots. Uh, the, they are buying these items and they are going to flip them for a profit would be my guess. Um, because that's a great deal. There's a lot of items there for 20 bucks. And I have two other bundles listed currently. Uh, one of them is this one right here. It's listed for $25. And the other one is this bundle right here that is listed for $30. So you can see two very nice bundles. Just put Christmas bundle into my search bar on Poshmark and it will pull those items up for you if you're interested in purchasing those. Uh, this bundle was purchased by Cat Feelin' Thrifty and she bought these ornaments here and these orange bulbs and then these were wood um, Christmas ornaments and she bought those for $20. These right here are vintage and incredible. So she should do pretty well with that lot. This is some yarn that I got from an estate sale. Uh, I sold this one and this one. And I want to say I sold the lot of two for $30 and the buyer paid the shipping. This is a stamp. If you guys don't sell wood stamps, like they're the rubber mounted wood stamps, some of them can do really well. There's certain ones that go for crazy money. And I have a whole video on the main five to look for. Definitely check out that video. But this one sold for $11 plus shipping. This next item are the Gans Webkins Green Frog Plush Stuffed Animals. I picked these up at the Goodwill Bins. I decided to put them together to make my listing stand out because there were a whole bunch of green frogs listed. So I'm like, if I make a little frog family, maybe mine will sell quicker. And it did. It sold for $35 plus shipping. And I did a video on Webkins that sell for crazy money. Some of them go for over $100. You just have to know what to look for. So that is one of my Bolo category videos. I have a lot of those on my channel. Those are definitely a great way to learn. So uh, go check out my playlist that says Bolo category video and just let them play while you work. You will definitely learn something I know I do every time I do a research video. This also came from that estate and I actually only put this on Poshmark. The reason being is they were kind of flooded on eBay and it's a heavier item. And I think that games do well on Poshmark because of that flat rate shipping of, is it $7.95? $7.67. This to ship on eBay would probably be $10 to $12, depending on where the person lived. So my buyer may be on Poshmark. So I sold this for $25 plus shipping. This right here is a Peanuts Charlie Brown Christmas porch greeter. This came out of a thrift store mystery box, believe it or not. And I sold this guy for $100 plus shipping. Lego Duplos. If you guys are not selling these on Poshmark, you definitely need to consider it because they sell pretty quickly and for decent money. I believe these came out of the Goodwill bins and I sold these for $19 plus shipping. The next item here is this 
hinged bangle bracelet. This came from my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay and I sold this for $10 and the buyer paid shipping. This is a Minecraft, Minecraft zombie. I think this came out, it was either a Goodwill Ben's find or a thrift store mystery box find. I cannot remember, but I sold it for $11 and the buyer paid shipping. This next item is a Starbucks barista bear from 2016. And to be honest with you, it either came from a garage sale, the bins or a mystery box. I think I remember picking this up at a garage sale for around 50 cents, but I could be wrong. Sold it for $12 plus shipping. This is a Paul Patrol semi-truck patroller launch and haul. And it comes with a uh, Rocky, the die cast vehicle. You can see it right here. And I only put this on Poshmark again for the same reason. This actually folds up pretty small. And I believe I put this in a um, shoe box. Let me see. Nope. I, I think I, it was two shoe boxes that I put together. And I sold this for $19 plus shipping. And again, I'm going to save on shipping by putting this item on a platform with a set rate shipping that is not based on where the person lives. Nella the Princess Knight minifigures. I pick up toys pretty much at garage sales, thrift stores, you name it. I get them in mystery boxes. I love selling toys. The Goodwill Bins, I dig and dig and dig. If you guys have not seen my Goodwill Bins videos, definitely go check them out because they are so fun. And I show you how I list everything. So as I'm pulling the things out of the bins, I'm popping up the screenshots and sometimes things have already sold by the time I do the video. So I do keep it educational. So definitely check those out. These little mini figures sold for $13 plus shipping. One thing I like to tell people that I forgot to do in this listing is to put cake topper in the title, um, but I forgot. So there's your little Bola Buddies tip, even though I'm not practicing what I'm preaching, right? And the last item I'm going to show you is this DKNY jean jacket. And the reason I'm showing you this is because this item has been listed probably for eight to 10 years. And I had multiples. This was something that I picked up at Gabriel Brothers. It's now called Gabe's. And it was on clearance. So I think I had a couple bucks in it, but I bought a whole bunch of them. And they have been a long tail item, but they are still selling. I'm still making on money on them. And people ask me, what do you do with your stale listings? And I always tell them I leave them listed. I'm already done the work. It costs me nothing on Poshmark to leave the item listed. So why would I take it down? This item sold after that long for $25 and I've got a buck or two in it. So I still made a fantastic profit. So my advice to you is if you took the time to list it, leave it up relist it. If it gets stale, relist the item. It may sell better if you uh, pop it back up in the algorithm. So those are some little tips and tricks for you. Thank you so much for being here. I am going to have another Poshmark video, so stay tuned for that. Um, too many tabs. We're already at about 20 minutes, and I like to keep my videos at about that. I do have videos of what sold on eBay and what sold on Mercari. I start my items on eBay and I cross post to Mercari and Poshmark. eBay is my main platform, but all of the extra sales that I got get on Poshmark and Mercari are so worth it. Do I recommend cross posting? Yes. So if you're just on Poshmark, consider eBay and definitely consider Mercari. But eBay, I sell the most on eBay. That is my moneymaker right there. Um, do I love Poshmark and Mercari? Yes. But eBay, I've been doing it since what, I think 2005. So love, love, love it. I use List Perfectly to cross post. If you guys are interested in looking into a service that is going to help you get your items on other platforms quickly, I highly recommend List Perfectly. I've been using it since 2019. There is a video down in the description. It is an actual demo video. I show you how to use the catalog, but I also show you how to cross post without the catalog. The great thing about it, it's completely up to you how you use List Perfectly. And there's so many little extra bonus features that you can also use with List Perfectly. So check out that video for more details. Um, if you would like to try it after you watch the video, you can get 30% off your first month with coupon referral code BOLOBUDDIES, all one word. All right, you guys, let me know if you have any questions down in the comments. Let me know which one was your favorite BOLO. 
Thanks so much for being here and thanks for watching.